guys, how are you doing? A very warm welcome back to What's For Tea and I hope you all had a fabulous Easter and had a great day. So yeah, so a very warm welcome back to you. Or if you're new, a warm welcome to you also. And I'm very glad you found our wee corner of YouTube. This is just the part of the week where I show you what I made for tea during the week and what we had and all that kind of thing. Any recipes that I've done will appear here as well. Obviously, if it's something that we've had for our tea. So I started off on Monday all the way through till today, which is Easter Sunday. And we're actually out for lunch today. We had a really big lunch. We were with uh, quite a few friends, so I didn't actually film that just out of respect because, you know, <laughs> folk can be funny about that kind of thing. But when we get back, you know, it's a few of us did have the quiche, so I've shown that at the end. I wasn't hungry. I didn't have anything else. <laughs> so like I say, we started off on Monday and I made fish and chips. So that's the chips. And that's a lovely piece of breaded haddock. And I served that with some shredded beetroot and some tartar sauce. I'm the only, uh, you know, I'm the only one that actually likes the shredded beetroot. Everybody else likes peas. Moving on to Tuesday and I made a vegetable lasagna. So I had some lettuce, some tomato, some sweet peppers, some celery, some sweet corn and some ranch dressing. Just a wee simple salad. Again with some chips and the vegetable lasagna hiding at the back, which you can't really see. <laughs> now you can. Ah <laughs> oh dear, I should have put that at the front. We love a lasagna. And the veggie lasagna is just as nice as the meat lasagna. And I like to put a wee bit of chilli flakes on top of mine, because I'm chilli daft. Moving on to Wednesday and I made a cheeseburger. So that's the bun there. And I like some ketchup, some cheese, that's the burger. Another wee bit of cheese, some onion, some tomato, some sliced pickle, some mustard, <laughs> and some lettuce and the top of the bun. This was lovely actually. These are lovely quarter pounder burgers and some chips and some buttered sweet corn. That's something else we love is the buttered corn. It's delicious. Moving on to Thursday and I made a wee beef stew and dumplings. So we had mashed potato, some broccoli and the beef stew with carrots, turnip and onion and a wee dumpling there hiding in the middle. Haven't made this for such a long time either but it's lovely. It's, you know, it's coming up to the summer now so these meals are going to be less and less I think. Moving on to Friday, you've seen this already. This was the macaroni cheese, you know, the, the wee bread bowl things. But me and my other half were the only ones that actually had the bread bowls. Everyone else just had, the, you know, the macaroni with the peas. So I've popped the recipe down below, but I'm sure you've seen this. This was Friday. And this was a divine. I would definitely make these wee bread bowls differently, though, in the future. As somebody had actually mentioned in the comment, you know, the comments section of this recipe, uh, a better way of doing it, and I completely agree. And it would have been a lot less fuss, <laughs> but it was delicious nonetheless. Moving on to Saturday, I made a wee mince pie. So I had some buttered new potatoes. That's the mince pie with some garden peas. Nice and simple, but very tasty. And like I said today, you know, we were at our friends, there were quite a few of us there for Easter lunch, but like I said, I didn't want to pull the camera out. So when we got back late afternoon, those who wanted it had the quiche with a wee bit of salad. Like I said, I was absolutely stuffed, so I didn't actually have anything else, but I wouldn't have had this anyway because I'm not a fan of eggs, but it went down very, very well. And I can say it smells or smelt absolutely delicious. This Emmental cheese, it's got such a distinct smell. 
and you'd think it'd be a really strong cheese because of the, the strong smell, but it's actually quite a mild cheese. Greer cheese actually works very well in this too. But I couldn't find Greer cheese, so I just went with the, the good old Emmental, which is just as good. So I'd give this a wee go, you know, give this a wee go, guys, if you like your quiches. Oh, lovely. And that's wee Jasper, he's saying hello. I thought these pictures turned out lovely. You can really see his fur, the definition is crazy. So sorry about the, the you know, the late uploads. It's been such, such a busy day. And what time? It's now 20 past two in the morning. So I'll probably head to bed about three o'clock, but it's just been one of those days. Just don't seem to have stopped for five minutes. But thank you for popping over again, guys, and checking out what we had for tea this week. And I'll catch up with you in the middle of the week and uh, we'll, throw, we'll throw a few ideas around, I think, yeah. So until I see you next, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye now.